Hi, I wanted to show you how I do my hot chocolate bombs and what works best for me. Now, instead of using the silicone brushes, they do work good if you want to paint yours in, but I found that a spoon, the back of a spoon, actually works really good. And I just take a spoonful and I just take the back and just swirl it around. I want to make sure you concentrate on the rim. I want to make sure those, the top part is not too thin, otherwise they will break. And just take it and just spin it around. go up on the edges there now this is the first coat I will put it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes until it hardens and then I'll do a second layer and I only have to do two layers okay and pretty much so that's my first coat just want to make sure your top has enough there All right, so that goes in the refrigerator. And I do have some done. Now, to melt these together, what I like to do, I've had this dinner plate on the stove for about five minutes on a low heat. It's not hot, it is warm. You don't want it too hot, otherwise you're gonna get a chocolate mess and you're not gonna get a clean edge. So you just take your first half and you just put it on there for just a second. And now you have a nice edge. And I do put cocoa powder in mine. Of course, marshmallows. And then you take your second part, same thing. And this plate will stay hot for a little while. I think I can do about six before I have to put it back on the stove. And then you just put your lid on there. Now you have a nice edge there. Now, if you do have some coming out, I take the cotton terry cloth towel, the kitchen towels, and I just kind of wipe it. And it seems to work the best with the cotton. And there you go. Let's do another one. The plate is still warm. Okay. Now if you want to do a peppermint, what I do is put in a half teaspoon of crushed peppermint and then your marshmallows. And if you want it coffee flavored, you can put a scoop of instant espresso in there. Or some people actually, instead of pouring milk over it, they pour hot coffee. Okay. Then you take your another half and make sure that doesn't get too melted. See? And it makes a nice border there. And a little pull that's fine. Now if you want to decorate these and make them shiny with luster dust, So these are some of my favorite ones. These are food grade, edible, luster dust. I just got them off Amazon. This one is my favorite one. It's by Sugar Art. It's called, I think it says Rouge Flame. It's a four gram container and it's, yeah, it's small, but I still have probably a third left in here and I've 
done probably five dozen so far with the same color. This one is actually my favorite color. And you actually just, I have these uh, makeup brushes that I got just for this. You just put that in there and you just swirl it around. Makes it nice and pretty. A little goes a long way of this stuff. See? Then I just take another puffy or brush and just dust it off. And that one's done. That this gold. This gold is really pretty too. They have so many colors. I've noticed the lighter colors, I tried to pink, and it didn't really show up too much on the um, the chocolate. It might work better on a white chocolate, but, but the reds and the golds are really pretty. See, and just, when you dust it, it just leaves a nice shine. And there you go. You can also, Swirl some chocolate on and sprinkle it with some peppermint or sprinkles. All right, thank you.